Welcome to Butterfly Beauty. This is an everyday glam look. I was wearing this in my skincare routine and it was requested by one of my subscribers. So I was super excited to recreate this look. This look focuses on perfecting the complexion and creating a nice neutral canvas to bring the focal point to a bold lip. To start off, I'm going to be priming the skin with the Dr. Brands Pores No More and then going in with the MAC Stroke Cream to highlight the high points of my face. foundation, I'm going to be using a sample of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation that I got from Sephora. And I'll be blending it out with my damp beauty blender. I'm going to be concealing and highlighting the high points in my face using the Neutralize and Highlight shades from the Dr. Yard BB Matte Contour Kit. To get as minimal creasing as possible, I set the under eye area right away with the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder. And this is a Real Techniques Contour Brush. My go-to combination for setting under my eyes. I'm just making sure that everything is well blended and I will be going in and setting the high points in my face where we put that concealer and highlighter with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm pressing the powder into the skin. To prime our eyes for shadow, I'm going to be using the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and setting that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder that we just used. For an everyday bold lip, I like to make the eyes very neutral in tone and bright. I'm going to be using the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay to create the eye look. This is the same palette I used in my skincare video. I filled in my brows off camera. I'll link my brow routine in the description bar down below, but now I'm just setting them in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Starting off with Foxy, I'm using a medium 
angled shading brush to distribute the shadow all the way from my inner corner of my eye to my brow bone and also on my lid. Next, on a fluffy, tapered blending brush, I'm taking the Naked 2 shade and using a combination of windshield wiper motions and circular motions to diffuse the shade through the crease. This adds dimension and definition to the overall eye look. To add even more dimension and darken up our crease, I took Faint on a Smith 230 brush and I blended it right below the Naked 2 shade that we applied prior. I then take more of the Naked 2 shade on a Smith 220 brush to connect our lower lash line to our upper lash line. Then I add some more epoxy onto the lid as the pigmentation got lost in the blending. For liner, I'm going to be taking a dark brown. The one I'm using here is from Urban Decay in the color Stag. And I'm going to be smoking out the upper lash line with some more of the faint shade that we used prior. I'm using a Smith 302 brush, which is technically a lip brush, but it really did a nice job blending out the liner. Then using the same brush and faint shade, I'm stamping out my lower lash line to really define our eyes. And I'm going to be taking the Naked 2 shade on a Sigma E30 pencil brush to further smoke out the lower lash line. Then I'm just taking the same Morphe E22 brush to make sure that the crease is nice and blended and taking Foxy to re-highlight our inner corner and brow bone. And to add a subtle gleam to the inner corner of the eye, I take Venus on a Morphe E36 pencil brush. And to brighten up our eyes even further, I'm taking the matte chromographic pencil and lining my lower waterline. Since this is an everyday look, I decided not to add lashes, but add lashes if you want to. I just curled my lashes and used the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara on my top lashes and the MAC Giga Black Lash on my bottom lashes. A lot of times when you want to wear a bold, dramatic, or bright lip, I apply the lip color first prior to going in with blush and bronzer just to make sure that the whole look is well balanced and the focal point is on the lips. I'm going to be lining my lips with the MAC Lip Liner in Oak and then going on top of that with the Ofra Lipstick in Americano. Before we add some life to the complexion with some bronzer and blush and contour, I'm going to be setting my cheek area with the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium and this Real Techniques Dual Fiber Powder Brush. I'm going to be bronzing up the complexion with the Kevin Aquan Celestial Bronzing Veil in Tropical Days. And I'm going to be contouring with the MAC Sculpt Shaping Powder and this Real Techniques Dual Fiber Contour Brush. I'm 
using that same contour powder, I'm going to be doing a light nose contour with the Smith 232 brush. For a nice, dewy, luminous highlight, I'm first going to be taking the Anastasia Illuminator in Starlight, and I'm going to be highlighting the high points of my face. And then I will be taking the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and lightly putting it up onto my cheekbones. Our lip is a warm brown, so I thought a nice warm champagne highlight would add nice touch to the look. Just dusting the Mary Luminizer on the high points of my cheekbones. For blush, I'll be taking Narcissus Madly with a Sigma Duo Fiber Blush Brush. Last but not least, I'm going to be setting the powders into my face with a rose water spray that I made myself. Just thumbs up this video and I will show you how to make this. I've been really loving it so far. And as always, I'm going to show you the finished makeup look. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Remember, you're beautiful inside and out.